Good morning guys, I hope you are having a lovely start to your day, or you're having a lovely evening. I always start with saying good morning, but you're probably watching this at 5pm, or like midnight. <laughs> Welcome back to a new weekly vlog, I hope you are doing well. Got some fun things going on this week, one including a photo shoot at home, which is really exciting, and we are allowed to do so. I am having my photographer Sarah come over tomorrow to shoot our new gorgeous sofa, which I'm going to show you today. I'm going to do a little bit of a morning home photo shoot just to have a bit of a chilled one because yesterday I worked quite a long time I worked until like 10 p.m last night so all good and felt really productive I always feel like really driven on a Monday um so I'm taking it a little bit slower today um and kind of a bit prepped for today anyway so I thought I would start the day just kind of taking some photos have a coffee I really want a coffee it's super cold and gloomy outside but it's snowing honestly the snow is beautiful and um, but it's freezing last night was cold but yeah so this morning i'm going to shoot my sofa and just make it like really cute and pinteresty um so that's the plan for this morning and then i have two deliveries from h&m and also pretty lavish so i think i'm going to do a little bit of an unboxing with you guys and kind of share with you what i ordered and do a little bit of a try on so let's start the morning with another coffee because I feel like today is second coffee morning time. So guys, like I said, I would show you the sofa. I've had a little bit of a move around because firstly, I wanted to kind of get an idea of where I wanted to shoot with Sarah. And usually, as you've seen in previous vlogs, this is the sofa, but the sofa is usually here. But I feel like for a photo shoot, it looks a lot better there. But reality wise it's ideal more there because the tv is there but for now like we could just keep playing around with it but it looks so gorgeous here so i'm going to show you this beautiful sofa this is in collaboration with a brand called snug sofa i am completely obsessed with the brand i just love the aesthetics of it and as well like the practicality of like getting it through little doors like literally go going through little doors with sofa and furniture was something that i never thought would be a problem but obviously now i'm a not a homeowner but i'm independent woman <laughs> you have to think about these things and this comes apart i actually think i filmed it for a time lapse in the last last week's vlog but this is what it looks like it is so beautiful this is the snug free seater big chill in the velvet taupe and i have chosen golden the golden brassy legs because i thought that looked really lovely with the gold accents in the kitchen and i just think it's so timeless and just very modern and i'm just so happy and the color of it is so beautiful and goes really well with really lovely neutral colors so this is the setup i've done of it the sofa is also very very comfortable but it is so beautiful so i've just done a little setup of the created gray vase the bum vase with a gorgeous raspberry and matcha green tea candle and then i've got the shelf behind but yeah i've just been playing around and i just think that looks so lovely and i cannot wait to shoot it tomorrow i really like the sofa here me and health both agreed it looks really lovely then it actually opens up the room but we have the problem of this i don't know if that actually looks right doesn't give the feng shui with this we don't think we're going to keep it in the lounge just because it's quite a big quite a big accent armchair which we are actually obsessed with but i just don't think it suits this it does suit the space especially in the winter but in the summer i think we'd want a bit more minimalistic so we're going to either try and put this in the office find somewhere but we're thinking about keeping just this maybe hell's little chair because we really love that style and then yeah this table works really well for now but yeah really loving it and just kind of getting an idea of what prints we want we do really love these here they look really lovely and then we are planning to paint these plant pots and see what that looks like so yeah so we've still got some fun kind of like 
moving around and having fun with the place. But yeah, I just thought I'd quickly show you how gorgeous this sofa is. And it's just such a good size and we're so glad we went with the footstool as well because it's just so beautiful and just, we were looking, well I, I was thinking of an idea of getting an L sofa, but when it came to practicality, so when I went to Dunelm, did, did I go to Dunelm or DFS? DFS, I went to DFS with Laurie to look at sofas for his, for his home and we spoke to one of the guys there and they were really really handy and really good at advice with when it came to like practicality of an L sofa and he really recommended instead of getting an L sofa where with an L sofa you have to kind of have the right mindset and like literally have the final definite choice of what side of the sofa you want your L to go. So you could choose it on the left or right, but then you're kind of stuck with it. So he really recommended just getting a normal sofa and a footstool, which you can obviously turn into an L sofa. And then you have the versatility of moving it from the left to the right, to the middle. If you've got loads of friends and family coming over, you can just push it to the side, like our place. We don't have a lot of room in here, obviously a London apartment isn't very spacious unless you've got a lot of dosh. Um, so it's so handy for when we are doing workouts, we literally can move the footstool, put that to the side so we make so much room. To Actually, with the sofa here, we have so much more room now. Mm. Interesting. We've still got a lot of playing. It's only, it's, we've only been here like just over a month. But yeah, so I really loved that recommendation from him about getting a footstool instead of like a permanently fixed L leg bit. So yeah, I really, if you are looking for a sofa, I'd take that advice on because then you're going to have that sofa forever and it's going to fit a lot more places than an L sofa. So I hope that helped. But yeah, so I'm going to carry on shooting. Oh my god, look at these vibrant flowers. Laurie sent me some gorgeous, gorgeous flowers. I don't know, I just, I'm not, I'm not a very colourful person. <laughs> Bless his soul. But yeah, I'm going to carry on shooting because I've got a bit to do today. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in a bit. Like I said, I was going to do a little bit of an unboxing with you. So first up is from H&M. And I only did a little small order. This is the first time actually I've done a H&M order. And it's come in a small bag. That's so bad. Okay, so I did this order in mind of spring coming. And literally I ordered this when it was the only day that it was sunny. Just chucking it down, it is so cold outside. So yeah, so I wanted to order some bits just to have around the house, just to change out from my knitwear. I've actually ordered only two knitwear pieces. And first off, one which I was really excited for and looks so chic and beautiful, is this cardigan but I just thought this looked so luxurious very like Gucci vibes and I got it in a size small and I just love the knit of it it's like a really tight knit and I just love the hold of it it just looks so beautiful so I thought that would look really nice with some flare trousers like sometimes I just want to feel dressed up but I want to wear knitwear because it's just so cold outside and yeah I just thought this was really gorgeous for that I'm also actually like I said doing a shoot with Sarah tomorrow so these people pieces have come perfectly in time so it's quite a long one I don't know actually if I should have gone for a medium but I will give it a go and try it on with you so the last knitted piece I ordered again the H&M sizing always comes up very differently usually I order a small and then I forget that I'm an extra small but then sometimes I order a small and I should have ordered a medium um this is actually from the divided collection yeah, this is from the Divided Collection, but I thought it was just a really sweet cardigan, just like a cute one. Quite boxy as well, so that'd be really nice with some tracksuit bottoms or some really nice flared trousers. And then it's got these beautiful little cuff details, which is why I fell in love with it. I just think they're so cute, and I just and I just love the detail of them. And it's got this really nice detail of the embroidery anglaise. It has a high neck going down with the buttons, so that was really sweet. I just thought that would look really nice as well with some white jeans in the summer. So I'm on to shirts. I'm just so excited for summer, and I came. 
came across this shirt i got it in two colors and i thought this would be actually really nice under jumpers and cardigans with some jeans or with some trousers i just thought it was really lovely i love the colors this trend is just so beautiful at the moment so i thought that was really lovely especially again with a pair of white jeans and a little cardigan i think that would look so sweet with some sandals absolutely love that and again it's in divided so i got it in a uk8 divided is the teenage section of h&m but it is quite affordable as well so again i got it in a blue and then i ordered then i ordered a two-piece oversized shirt and trousers in this beautiful print i just think that looks absolutely stunning it's a really nice thick material of the shirt and it's a really nice thick material and i just love the illustrations so much that's such a gorgeous versatile print definitely can go into winter with that but then also again with spring and summer around the corner i just think that's so lovely so i got that in the shirt and it has really nice details around the cuffs and then it has the same borderline on the trousers so yeah really obsessed with that so i'm gonna give them a go okay so i actually wanted to show you the trousers on with a little white top definitely could have gone down a size but the print of these are so beautiful and if you're just like around the house i feel like that's such a lovely vibe so i've just got this on with my asos jumper just a v-neck jumper what i'm wearing today and i just think they look so gorgeous definitely have to get them taken up definitely I, if i went down a size i think they would be perfect and as well i feel like they would be really cool dressed up so if i wore the whole outfit together with some heels i feel like that would look really really cool as well as the shirt undone with a bikini underneath underneath with some sandals i think that will also look gorgeous but yeah i just absolutely love the print of them and the style of them they're quite like oversized and flary so i'm going to try it on the shirt now well this is very cool oh my god i'm obsessed this is so lovely and just so cool i absolutely love this two-piece i think this is so fun this is very obviously pajama-esque vibes but definitely even for valentine's like dressing this up with a red lip bit of makeup sorry my hair and makeup is all over the show this morning i just think this is so lovely and like i said even like going out with some heels on i might put some heels on to show you and then you could put like a black body or black bikini on underneath i just think this vibe would be super cute and it just looks so expensive the material is beautiful and just this classic floral detail is just super timeless um yeah i'm absolutely obsessed with this two-piece i'm definitely gonna shoot this tomorrow with sarah I think this would look really cool either on the sofa or I want to do a picture of like me over like the kitchen island not over it like just kind of leaning against it I actually might show you how I kind of did like a little mood board of planning how I do my shoots so that might be quite fun that's my plan tonight so yeah so absolutely love this outfit I think it's so gorgeous like I always say that this will all be linked down below oh I can't wait to take photos in it that's a better lighting but it just looks so beautiful even if you want them as for pajamas beautiful h&m have got like a really i love how i'm getting up with you um h&m have a really affordable range their quality is just beautiful and i'm just absolutely loving h&m at the moment and yeah this is absolutely stunning even this shirt with some jeans or some shorts would look beautiful so yeah really happy with this okay so next up is this shirt and at first i was a bit unsure but now i've kind of started because I, I put it on with those trousers and it just looked very strange but now i've styled it up like proper dressed it up this is actually quite cool they're really lovely and just kind of like i feel like with some shirts it can kind of look a bit too scruffy and i feel like really put together in this i thought also as well i wouldn't like the fit of it because it was quite small and a bit more slim fitted however i'm actually really enjoying this i think that looks really lovely especially with these trousers i think it just looks really smart put together i put these trousers on as well because i wanted to make sure like I was creating outfits for at home which was super comfy but also as well this would be really nice in the office sorry i have to think about the office because i gotta think positivity we're gonna get back to normal soon so yeah i just thought this would look really nice in like spring summer you could even pair this with some mum jeans or some white mum jeans that look really pretty so yeah and then with like a sleeveless vest would look really nice or like a just an open cardigan or blazer yeah i just thought this was a really nice shirt put together and yeah i'm gonna try on the blue one 
I honestly cannot believe the snow outside <laughs> but I've just put on the blue one and I am in love I just think this is so pretty I think it's so lovely really elegant and feminine super comfortable I love wearing oversized shirts and sometimes, like I said, I feel a little bit scruffy in them, feel like I haven't put too much effort in them. And I just feel the detail of this shirt is just so beautiful. So again, I've just kept on these trousers just to give you an idea of how they would be styled with these. And I just think you've got two outfits there perfectly super comfortable look really smart put together and even just with some like really nice jewelry and some heels it look really nice for going out as well but yeah i just wanted to keep looking at outfits which i could wear at home for work and also as well if i'm going out for meetings or anything like that or if you're slowly going back to the office soon then these are some staple shirts to have in your wardrobe they're really pretty and again they were on divided so that means that they were super affordable so i think they were like 15 pounds each or something but yeah really lovely i got them in a size small or an eight and yeah really happy with them i think that looks really cute especially if i got some like white material trousers like this that would look really lovely as well maybe a maybe a little bit like a sailor but we'll give it a go but even with some jeans i think again that would look really lovely so yeah really happy with these shirts i think they look really nice next up is this super cute knit i think it's so lovely so i'm not too sure what actually to do with the buttons i don't actually know if i should i don't know if i should button that up like that i don't know we'll have it undone i'm not too sure but it's just such a pretty jumper oh my god i'm so yeah maybe like that maybe just a bit undone looks a bit cooler just a bit of a decollage but yeah a really lovely knit and i think it came in different um colors as well but i just love those sleeves i think they're just super cute and again with a little white pair of jeans i'm so excited for summer a pair of white jeans or some shorts that would look really cute but again i've just kept these trousers on because these trousers just go with everything but yeah, I really like this outfit again, super comfortable like always and with these trousers again more comfort Definitely with a pair of tracksuit, grey tracksuit bottoms that would look really lovely or some white tracksuit bottoms just to have that extra comfort But yeah, really love the material of it, super cosy and also a really soft knit So again, you could actually probably put that shirt on underneath or have it undone with a little body that would look really lovely as well how expensive does this look when i said gucci very much chanel this is so beautiful so i've shown you it done up and i've actually just paired it with my flare trousers which are just so comfortable but i just wanted to show you you can look chic on the top and then you can be comfy on the bottom that's the vibe i am going for but i absolutely adore this jumper it's so beautiful and definitely i'm going to try it with a body underneath with my leather trousers just to give you another way to wear it but i just think it's so pretty i think this is such a lovely piece so yeah i've done it up but let me just try leave the snow outside it's actually beautiful but yeah an absolutely a gorgeous piece and it's actually a really nice fit and size so i could go oversized but it could look a bit um could make me look actually a little bit bigger um so that's it undone like I don't know, I feel like it looks really nice. I don't know if I look quite mumsy in it or like, um, what's her name? Emily from Gilmore Girls and Nan. I really like it. I just think it's such a lovely cardigan because I'm so for cardigans and jumpers, but I'm just, I really like the idea of feeling a little bit more smarter and something you can wear in the evening say for like if you're going out for dinner or anything like that or like making if you're like making a really nice like saturday night date night or anything like that i just think this could actually look really lovely with some really tight trousers on or like what i've done just some flare trousers which are like quite flattering obviously maybe not with slippers <laughs> but yeah i just wanted to show you how beautiful this top is because i think it is actually really sweet so i'm gonna actually try it undone with a body and Oh my god, this is very Chanel cruise vibes. I just can't wait for spring, summer and for the place to just feel so warm. Um, but yeah, this is how I would style it in the summer as well. So just a little, little other way you can style this jumper in the summer with some trainers or some sandals. Really lovely. And also like if you're going to the airport, really comfy, really lightweight, but still really warm because it's that really nice at ribbed. But yeah, I thought that looked really cute. I really like it actually open instead of closed. I feel like that might look, if you're really dressing it up, had your hair down, it looks really gorgeous for 
sure but I think I'd get more wear out of it if I had it open and yeah I just think that looks so lovely so yeah so that's how it looks with it done up and with shorts maybe I got problems that I don't tell anyone have I lost my perception feel like I wanna do something wrong now packing all your belongings say you want right guys so as Helena would say, <laughs> doesn't have to look good. Wait, was it? Doesn't have to look good to be, be good. Delicious. Or to be delicious. Doesn't have to look good to be delicious. And it bloody doesn't because this is our leftover risotto. Hells has just spiced it up, added some bits, added a lovely salad, I did a poached egg, and broke up some vegan cheese and balsamic. So we're gonna tuck into this with the, we've kept the sofa there because I'm shooting that later. And we're gonna watch The Great and also OC, which is delicious. So we're gonna tuck into this and I'll catch you guys in the morning. Good night, Hells. Good night. take some time. But if you say we'll meet again, why'd you have to take everything now? Baby, are you liking? Have you met someone? I actually can't look at the camera, it's so bright. Good morning, guys. I hope you are well. It is stunning today. The sun is shining and it is absolutely beautiful. Perfect for when my darling Sarah comes over. I am just doing a little bit of derma planning and I thought I would actually kind of show you what I do. I've only tried it a few times and I have been absolutely loving it. So I did a collaboration with this brand called Hollywood Browser and I was just sharing how I use it for my brows. Also as well, it's really good for dead skin cells and like really good for if you want to create a really smooth makeup base so it just gets rid of all the peach fuzz dead skin cells and it just creates a really nice flawless skin texture so that's what i'm doing now and it's just so easy to use and it's not dangerous at all and it's just super easy so that's what i'm doing today i just felt like i needed it but it's just really good at just getting rid of uneven textures if you've got too much hair anywhere like if you suffer from maybe peach fuzz or like a bit of a moustache i definitely recommend this they do have it on look fantastic so i'll leave the link down below really rate it like i said i've done a paid collaboration with them in the past but no i really like the texture it creates it always creates a really nice smoothness and i find it really handy for it like in the middle of my brows just to get that peach fuzz that kind of always clusters around there if you get that like the really blonde hairs in between sarah coming over in a couple of hours i've just done my hair just sorting out the place I'm just about to do my makeup as well i really need to do a hair treatment i feel like my hair is I feel like my hair is struggling at the moment so saturday morning i might do a hair treatment but it feels really thick i've been using the grow gorgeous products and absolutely loving them and the sun is beautiful i'll show you from the lounge it looks so lovely really quick and simple that is to do derma planning it's um really lovely look how pretty the light is honestly i've just been sitting here having my smoothie and i think it's my new favorite spot look at that honestly sun makes everything better so we've worked out i guess in the summer in the morning it comes over this side and then sunsets in our bedroom okay so i am all zhuzhed up um i just done my makeup and it I don't know what I've done, but it's, it looks really heavy and pink, so I'm not a massive fan. But I think with the camera, I think it will be okay, because cameras show a bit more of um, less flawless skin. <laughs> um, so I'm in my first outfit, which is the And Other Stories cardigan with the gorgeous buttons. I've recently just done a Valentine's And Other Stories, um, a Valentine's And Other Story for looks. Um, so I'll leave that in the description down below if you haven't seen it already. So yeah, so I'm in my first outfit. So I'm just kind of like going around planning what I want to get done. Oh, I was going to show you my mood board. Okay, so this is the mood board. So I've done a little bit of a mixture. So some sofa ones. I've got Rosie Huntington because she's just fabulous. Um, and yeah, just got a little bit of a vibe. I thought this would be quite nice for my fireplace. And then I've got a suit. So yeah, these are the shoots I want to do today. So I thought that would be really cute. I'm gonna try and do like an hour with her. Um, I think 
that would be enough, especially because we're in the house, so we don't have to like transport to different locations or anything like that. So we could be super quick. She is on her way, which is exciting. Um, so yeah, I am very excited for that. And then the rest of the day is just admin. I've got to do, I'm gonna clean the house again and then just post stuff, got admin stuff to do. So I wanna get that all done. And then hopefully later on me and Hal's are gonna go for a walk and we're gonna go and get our food shopping, shopping. do a little shop and then we'll do another shop on the weekend because we really like that how when we did a little shop, it just makes it a little bit easier to carry. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna crack on before Sarah gets here. And I'll probably show you some behind the scenes. We leave town. Ten, nine, counting down, putting on a... Guess who I've got here? It's a me. <laughs> it's a me. <laughs> oh, we've just done a shoot and it went really well. I felt like I was in like a magazine showing my house off. And... Yeah, I'll, send you, I'll tell Amelia how to put the pictures up on oh, the yeah. screen. <laughs> She'll tell me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you have to know how to do it or not. Um, but we've just had a lovely catch up. And we're just, we're done, yeah. we're done. Oh, it's got lighter. Oh, there you go. Oh. But yeah, say bye, Sarah. Bye. <laughs> Hello guys, so as you just saw, I shot with Sarah, which was so lovely, and we are allowed to do so, just in case someone's a bit like, oh, is that allowed? If it is for work purposes, then you are actually allowed. She is actually allowed to come in here. She's been doing two um, tests a week, just to be really precautious, and she was wearing a mask, and we were only doing it for an hour, and we let the windows open, so it was really safe. We made sure that we were both feeling okay, so I'm really glad we got that done. So I am about to make some baked oats. Hells saw a Instagrammer called Holly Mercedes. She's lovely. Um, she's just done. Um, she's just done a recipe of how to make them. So that's what we're making for lunch. So I'm just getting the ingredients. Helena's on a call. So I am a chef. Oh, she's free. Oh, God. <laughs> I was just telling them, so which one do you want to do or should I do a bowl? I don't want to fill, I don't want to use all the oats though. Oh, maybe a little. Mm. That's quite small though. Oh, it'll be risen, so. Yeah. Or should I do two bowls? Smile, eight, seven, six, five. You say goodbye, lock the door, four, three, two, one. And then I lose On a call, we're working and eating. I'll be Good evening, guys. So, me and Hells have just finished up for the day. It is quarter to six, and as you can see, we're snug as a bug. And we're gonna go off and do a little food shop. We do a, like a little circuit, which is quite nice. We walk along to the park, and then along the park, we go to Source which is like Battersea Rise area and we need to collect some olive oil so I've got the large olive oil glass um, bottle from Waitrose and we just fill that up because that's quite big that means we can reuse it and then we are going to go along to Asda and just get some small bits and bobs which are needed and necessities for like just kind of the rest of the week and then we'll probably go again um over the weekend just to get bits and bobs so yeah so we're gonna do a little one and then it means that we can get out the house have some fresh air and go for a long walk it's supposed to be so cold outside so i put two jumpers on scarf hat and coat this is my really thick coat from h&m which i just love so much so um yeah oh, and gloves so yeah we're gonna go and do a little a little shop and then we are gonna head home and we're thinking fish and vegetables because we did we did we're gonna do a mushroom pastry thing but that baked oats we had for lunch oh my god i haven't spoken to you since baked baked oats um it was so good but just so like stodgy um so we're not really in the mood for like a wellington kind of vibe so we're gonna have fish and um, vegetables. We're gonna grill them or do a stir fry. I'm not too sure yet. Whatever tickles our fancy. And um, yeah, chill out. Veg on the sofa. 
I'm really tired today. I've had three coffees and I feel like that wasn't a really bad idea for like anxiety and stuff like that. Someone's not going to be sleeping well tonight. Um, so yeah, hopefully burning some energy on this walk will help this little one's head calm down. <laughs> Why hasn't he called me back? It's been three days Stalking his Instagram Saying he's in a phase It's Thursday night. It's a Friday. <laughs> We're getting our okay. tipple for the evening. This is what the choice is. Okay, so what's what? A that's Greek one. A, that's a Greek one. And this is Italian. Oh. Mm. New, funky, yeah. fresh. What do you think? I don't know. I honestly, I'm thinking they're both going to be quite nice. If yeah. Them. Should we give the Greek one a go? Yeah. Well, I mean, Italian will be quite nice for our roast awesome. except we don't drink on sundays anymore so. well we probably will need it this weekend look at our little wine cellar we need to get like a I little wine rack but yeah we need to get like a little wine rack for in here to be super cute that'd be very handy like amazon amazon would be quite a good one. Oh, the light just went but it is thursday and it has been a very strange end to the working day as the wi-fi went down not too bad it hasn't really Distracted like us. Like 3 p.m. Mm, so we went for a walk, which I probably filmed a little bit of clips. Um, has got a hot chocolate, which sounded amazing and quite jealous, so I might get that tomorrow morning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And yeah. we've just had some nuts and olives, which was delicious. That was great. A treat. If I do say something up, do you say so myself? <laughs> but it is Thursday. I keep nearly going to say Friday. It's wine night. It's a Jackie P night and I'm very much here for it. Like it was very needed. But yeah, as we said, the Wi-Fi went down so we kind of used it as an excuse to go for a quick walk, enjoy the sunset and it was, it's Baltic actually a word. Yeah. It was Baltic outside. I keep saying Baltic and I don't know if I'm just making a word. <laughs> it's because I said it the other day. Oh, did you? <laughs> so I'm like, Oh, that's a new big word Amelia hasn't known before. So I'm like, oh, it's Baltic, it's Baltic, it's Baltic. So yeah, so we that was really nice actually. Corn house. Cool. Woo! Yeah, so we're gonna enjoy some wine and work for maybe an hour, half an hour to an hour. Put the Jackie peas. When should we put the Jackie peas in? In half an hour, half 45 minutes? Yeah. So and my desk arrives tomorrow, which is so exciting. So I will definitely show you guys. I'll probably put it up tomorrow or Saturday. I'll do a taste test. Oh, like, oh it's very light. Oh. You, may, you, may, you may be getting a minus point here. Oh no. It feels very um actually looks like red wine on holiday. Yeah, it does. It's very fruity. It's meant to be a dry. I'm not madly offended. I'm not offended. It smells very sweet. I don't get that sweet. It's a dry, very dry. Yeah. It feels like it should have more body. Yeah. Like the taste is heavier body, but the it's light. It feels light. I'm kind of, I'm kind of into it. I mean, I drink it. My favorite. favorite. No. But it's nice. Yeah. It's well, just like fill us up. <laughs> Hello. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> So if anyone is intrigued of what wine we've got, it's, it's Ino Marvro. I'm not even going to try. I don't even you can screenshot it if you want to give it a go. But um, we got it from Wine Society, which Helena's parents are regular loyal customers at. <laughs> and they kindly sent us some wine yeah. and gave us this. Oh, is this an app? Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, this is exciting. You can take a picture of all the wine drinks. So, is this the Wine Society oh. app? No, this is just a random app. Oh, it's got 3.8 rating. Ooh. Yeah, 3.8 is actually quite good on here, though. Oh, okay, good. Like, people are brutal about wine. Among the top 7% of wines in the world. Oh, this is so interesting. Look, guys. Gold tannic. Oh. You see, it is but dry, but tannic. Yeah. Oh, you're very strawberry. You're very right. Yeah. Mm. This is where I get all the info from. And then, if you go to your profile, you can look at my wines. <laughs> See, this is what we had last week. Oh, lovely. Oh, that red. That red on New Year's. Was that New Year's? 
That was unreal. It's twelve pounds on there. Yeah, it tells you where you can buy it as well. Buy ten pounds. No buying options. Cheers, wine merchant. <laughs> Cheers. That's delightful. Wow. Mm. We know what we're gonna be doing this weekend.